Hello and welcome everybody to yet another Elden Ring Showcase. I'm Damien and today we are going to be taking a look at one of the coolest hammers around. No it's not Fours and no it doesn't belong to an MC. Instead it's wielded by our fan favourite fanboy Marika. As for where you can get this weapon, you will need to have completed your first playthrough as Marika is the final boss of the game. Once you have defeated her, you can trade the Elden Resemblance to Finger Reader Enya and grab this once in a playthrough weapon for yourself. And with that out of the way, let's jump straight into the video. If we take a look at the stats, we can see that this horrendous hammer deals a solid 101 physical and 65 holy damage. It also has a descaling in strength, dexterity and faith, with a nice and lightweight of 6. However, if you upgrade this lovely weapon to plus 10, you'll now be dashing out 247 physical and 159 holy damage. You will also now have a B scaling in strength and a C scaling in faith. Marika's hammer cannot be infused, but with the weapon art this beast has got, you will not be needing any. Speaking of weapon arts, this hellish hammer has just the one, called Goldbreaker, which sounds cool, but looks even better. I mean, when you use the weapon art, you'll start one of the coolest animations. You'll leap into the air and bring the hammer down like four, which in turn will launch all surrounding enemies within range into the air. This can be exploited by simply spamming the button. Now, admittedly this does stink of cheese, but I'm not going to complain seeing as they put it in the game. Oh, and I just have to say how incredible this weapon's ability is. Not just because it looks awesome, which it does, but because it disperses crowds like an eggy fart and launches enemies into the atmosphere as if the rapture had just started early. Now, if you wanted to make a build around this hulking hammer, I would first suggest going and grabbing the following talismans. Firstly, grab yourself Marika's Sword Seal, then the Star Scourge Heirloom, thirdly the Two Fingers Heirloom, and finally the Shard of Alexander. These, in the order that they were read, will greatly raise Mind, Intelligence, Faith and Arcane, will increase Strength, increase Faith, and will greatly boost the attack power of skills. You should also go and grab yourself the Faith Not Crystal tier and the Holy Shroud in Crack tier for your flask. These will temporarily boost Faith and Holy Damage. You could also equip an armor set that boosts Faith Damage as well, such as the Gold Mask's armor set or the Ruler's Mask. And that's going to do it for today. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you have any questions, drop a comment down below. And if you want to support me as a content creator or just want to see more of these videos, then go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Anyway, I'm Damien, keep it cool, and I'll see you in the next one. Laters.